Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Card has turned over. The Seven of Wands and the Moon. Okay. A message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. A message for Capricorn. The message is yes. <laughs> it goes really well with these two cards, actually, that message. It's um, a nice confirmation there, Capricorn. So I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else we get. So... We pull three cards. First card is your issue or challenge. The second card is advice from spirit. The third card, your outcome. And then we clarify the cards as we always do and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. What does Capricorn need to hear this week? Okay, card is out. Two cards. Knight of Wands and the Strength card. The Hierophant, card of Taurus. Strength card of Leo. Knight of Wands is card of Sagittarius. We have the Moon Pisces. Uh, we have the Page of Swords here in your outcome. Okay. Wrong deck. Let's clarify the cards. Go deeper into the message. For Capricorn, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Capricorn. Thank you. Yeah, Two of Swords here, Capricorn. In the challenge position, the Hierophant is clarified with the Three of Cups. And the Page of Swords, we have Temperance, card of Sagittarius again. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. There is something that is challenging you. Um, I mean, this is somebody who is putting their heart and soul into over overcoming some kind of challenge. And they don't know how it's going to pan out. You know, there's fear, there's lack of clarity. I mean, this can also be grappling with your fear, your own. Um, the moon energy can be fear, lack of clarity, doubt. You know, um, so it might well be for some of you, you're trying to overcome a situation that has been challenging, but you just don't know how it's going to pan out. And it's frustrating. I mean, there's definitely a frustrating energy here in the cards. It feels like you feel frustrated. And you're losing faith. It feels in, in this situation, you might be losing faith in your own sense of self, in your own ability to bring change to a situation. But the message with the Seven of Wands is keep going, keep going, because whether you know it or not, you know, you're being given hidden blessings from the universe. Even though you don't see the big picture, there's lack of clarity. You don't know how something's going to pan out. The universe does. And it's leading you in the right direction through your intuition. So what you're intuitively taking action towards, what you're putting your energy and time into is the right thing. So keep going because, you know, you might be asking yourself, you know, oh my goodness, it's frustrating. I'm, I'm, I'm taking action. I'm putting all my energy towards overcoming some kind of challenge or difficulty that I'm facing here. 
but I just I'm not seeing anything I, I just don't know how something's really going to pan out and it's worrying me it's making me question myself question what I'm putting my time and energy into am I doing the right thing well the answer is yes yes keep going persevere and that is the message because you might be doubting yourself here Capricorn you know there may well be frust some frustration of not getting very far here of still feeling stuck of not seeing any opportunity come your way but the message is stay keep going you know stay the course um, you know again this 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 energy of I don't really know how something's going to pan out I don't have the information or the clarity on how something's going to pan out and I still feel stuck even though I've been putting all this energy and effort into what I've been doing into bringing change into bringing maybe opportunity uh, my way something that's very much connected to my heart and soul your heart and soul um, so it feels in this energy Capricorn there is definitely an energy of just stay strong find that inner strength don't doubt yourself don't let the low energy uh, the low the lower vibration creep in you know uh, the emotion this is about keeping your head you know keeping the, the keeping in your power because it is coming uh, there could you know there could be delays there could just be frustrations with things not happening quickly here um, but there's a message of don't doubt yourself your own ability to bring change it just feels there's more perseverance that's needed you're definitely being watched over the hierophant is a sign of that can also be a spiritual mentor or teacher uh, that you might be talking to that is helping helping you through a period of time um, also represents the Taurus energy which is Spirit is saying the stability the security of safety is coming your way you know I love the Taurus energy because it represents success stability security safety um, and keep on doing what you're doing you will overcome the challenge you will get on top of the situation because I definitely see for some of you celebration Spirit is saying the celebration is coming, uh, the winter is over, the spring is here, very apt for this time of year. Um, so it's coming out a perfect time for you as well Capricorn and it feels in this situation you will be reaping the harvest, you will reap the bounty of what you've been working towards and that's what the universe is telling you. So have faith, trust in the process, you know this can be sometimes an energy of oh gosh is it going to change will you know why is it happening to me what's it all about you know it can be when we're asking those kind of fundamental questions of, of you know crisis um, and it is about keep the faith faith in yourself spiritual faith for those of you who are spiritual you are being watched over guided it is an energy of an energy of towards a greater sense of stability security safety so I definitely get this energy of you're going to reap the harvest. You're going to reap the bounty of what you've been working towards. And Spirit is very sure about that. Um, patience. Feeling of treading water here. Um, but, you know, the new adventure is about to begin. You know, it's Sagittarian energy. Let's remember this, you know, the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. So I definitely feels like the, the new adventure, yes, there may have been some delays here or frustrations, but the new adventure is about to begin. You know, the temperance energy is, is just about finding balance, um, adjusting finding the way through finally a situation but it can be about patience while that's happening um, but the path is being revealed yeah I'm definitely getting that you can see the path is is being revealed here towards your crown you know your victory crown so I'm definitely getting this energy here of the page of swords hearing something learning something communication um, 
a message of truth, which is the page of swords, pages and messengers. So hearing something, learning something, maybe news, information, conversation here. Um, that is bringing the wind of change. I do call the page of swords the wind of change card. You can see all the all the clouds are being blown to the right um, because all of a sudden you have the clarity that you've been seeking. And the clarity might be coming in some kind of news, information, um, learning something, hearing something. And it's to do with this, the Ace of Wands, finally. The wand that where there's been frustrations, the wand that has been difficult to manifest. We finally have the new beginning here. We finally have the opportunity, something connected to your heart and soul. Now, yeah, this is very good in terms of business, career, finance. Obviously, the Ace of Wands is the beginnings of success. It's very much connected to power, something that has such potential to grow into something really successful, the castle at the end of the road. So there's definitely this energy of you have the opportunity this week. Uh, there's some patience here. But if you're doubting yourself, the future outcome is, yeah, the opportunity is coming. Um, an exciting opportunity here, Capricorn. Something that you've been absolutely taking action towards. You've, been, you've had to overcome some obstacles to get. Um, maybe some delays here. But definitely there is an energy of the, like, the exciting opportunity is presenting itself. Now, yes, this can be very good in terms of career. This can also be career jobs, business ventures, starting something up on your own even. But it can also be to do with something that's connected to your passion, your heart and soul, a hobby. It could be... Um, it could be, you know, if you wanted to move, you know, if you've visited somewhere that you felt a real affinity with and you want to move state or county, there may have been some delays or restrictions to do with that. So it can be that kind of energy as well. And the message is you're going to reap the reward, whatever challenges or, you know, it, it is connected to your heart and soul, your passions, you know. Um, so I definitely get this energy of it's here, you know, it feels like quite imminent It's going to be presenting itself. So very, very beautiful energy there, Capricorn. There are just some kind of, it feels it's just been a frustrating time where there's been a lack of clarity and the fear can get the better of you if you're not careful. And that strength card is saying, no, you need to master any doubt or fear that creeps in and keep on going. Because you're being told, yes, it's going to happen. So what you hoped would happen, it definitely feels for some of you is happening. There's just been some patience that's needed as part of this adjust adjustment, you know, finding the way forward on the journey. You might have been on your own. I mean, certainly if it's, if it's to do with, you know, uh, you doing this on your own or taking some time to reflect you know introspection as well I mean you know this can be the solitude card think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times so there could be some introspection or clarity that you're getting from within this week as well Capricorn um maybe time to get some perspective as well um but definitely an energy of what you'd hope would happen is happening and it feels beautiful. So don't doubt your own ability to influence this outcome when you're in your power. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.